Let us not think anger happens to us, resentment happens to us. No, these things we are creating. I did not give this privilege to anybody, that somebody can make me happy, somebody can make me unhappy, somebody can make me angry, somebody can make me miserable. I have not given that privilege to anybody. It's not that I am incapable of all these things, if I want I can be all those things. But I have not give the, given this privilege to anybody, they can't do something to me and make me angry, no. We have the power to emote. We can make it love, we can make it joy, we can make it ecstasy, but people have chosen to make it tension, anger, resentment, hatred, they have turned it that way. Now they will claim this is because life has been unfair to me. Life has not been fair to anybody. Life is not fair to anybody. Life is simply rolling, it's for you to learn to ride it. Sometimes we are in uncomfortable situations, some for, sometimes we are in comfortable situations, Sometimes we are in situations where we know exactly what to do, in sometimes we are in situations where we don't know what to do. Sometimes somebody else is controlling the situation, sometimes you are controlling the situation. This is how life is. If you are constantly stepping into unfamiliar situations in your life, that means you are growing at a rapid pace. If you are in constantly in comfortable situations, that means you are a stagnant life. If you look for a comfort zone, because the moment your thoughts and emotions are going to torment you with external stimulant, external stimulation that happens. What will you choose? You will choose a comfort zone. This means you will limit your life. So the moment somebody can cause you pain or suffering, this means unknowingly you will make the very scope of your life very limited. Only when a person loses this fear of suffering, that no matter what happens, this is how I will be, if this assurance comes to you, then you walk full stride because whatever happens in the life around you, it will not really make you suffer. Once you are free from suffering, only when you are free from suffering, when you are free from the fear of suffering, that is when you will explore your life in full depth and dimension. The suffering is happening because your faculties are not held in your hands. See, for example, if I ask you a simple question, do you want your intellect to be sharp or blunt, sharp of course. So you understand, your intellect is the b better… the sharper it is, the better it is, it's like a knife. So if it's like a knife, it's a cutting instrument. So if you give anything to your intellect, it will dissect everything and see, this is the nature of our intellect. You don't have to physically dissect, but it dissects everything and sees what is this, what is that. This is the nature of the intellect. Without dissection, it doesn't know because it is a knife, it's like a scalpel. It must be sharp. A knife that is not sharp is no good knife, isn't it? If you are using a knife to do everything, to do everything, let's say you eat with a knife, you brush with your knife and you do everything with your knife, of course you will be bleeding. That's all that's happening. Only one dimension of intelligence within us, in yogic way of looking at things, we look at mind as sixteen parts. Mm. This intellect is just one part. Because our education systems are such, which are totally intellect oriented, human beings largely are using only one dimension of their intellect to do everything. Mm. You use a knife to stitch your clothes, what will you wear? Only tatters. Right now human life is in tatters, mainly because of this. Instead of using a needle, you are using a knife. So intellect is a very good instrument of survival. If you want to survive on this planet, you need a sharp intellect. The sharper it is, the better you will survive. But that will not make life, that will not put everything together. Right now, because through intellectual process, people are trying to handle everything. With so much care, they're trying to do everything right, 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 right and a blunder. The result is a blunder. Everything right, but the end result is a big blunder because you're using a knife to do everything.